All right, guys, so there's our stairway coming up to the house. Look at that. That snow is crazy deep. Oh, wait, hold up. What do I have here? Look what I have here, Van Powers. It's charging at 13 watts. Look at this. I got 92.2 hours. It's gonna take a long time in this weather. You can see the snow that's fallen. It is pretty darn deep. Pretty crazy. It would suck to be without power, guys, right? Oh, that's an icicle. Heavy snow. All right, guys, I just laid the panels in the snow just to see what we could get. And what do we get? Look at that. We're getting 12 watts. You can even see the reflection of the panels in the snow. Hey, look at there. We got waterproof connectors. So we're good. We're good to go. Hey, guys, what's up? Eddie Ajo here with KissAnalog.com. Today, we're here at Van Powers, and I have their Super Power Pro. This is a 1500. They also have a 2000. They both have 2000 watts. They're both rated at 2000 watts. Um, and they have a peak power. I'm going to show you all the specs. We're going to see a lot of this stuff. But this is a power generator, right? Some people refer to them as solar power generators. Big battery bank that you charge up. AC or DC, you can charge these things up. Uh, so this guy here, Van Powers, maybe you guys have heard about him because they've been all over YouTube. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm the last one to get one, but I didn't know about them when they reached out to me. And I know something about this field because I've actually worked in it. So uh, I, I was kind of holding off getting one of these because I thought I'd, I'd get a different brand, okay? So when they reached out to me, I went and looked, did a bunch of research like I do a lot of times on these videos. And uh, I wanted to look not only at the reviews of Van Powers, but I wanted to look at other competitors as well, okay? And so we're going to look at why they say you should choose them. Now, what I found was, well, we're going to look at a lot of what I found in this video. But right off the bat, I saw a lot of positive. saw very little negative, almost none. So I said, yes, yeah, please send me out one. So they did, you know. Other than an email asking me, hey, when are you going to post a video? Because I had some setbacks, as you saw in the snowstorm. There's been a lot of things that have happened this year, which you guys have probably seen on my channel. It's like I've had a hard time getting some of my projects done because of everything that's happened. So got a new job. We'll talk about that in another video. But working for defense industry again, pretty cool. But yeah, so... This industry I know something about. And, you know, I don't know when it started, seven, ten years ago, something like that, that you started seeing these things appear. A lot of them were startup companies. Some of them were crowdfunded. Now, crowdfunding, what I've understood more recently, which would have been great to know a couple years ago. <laughs> anyway, crowdfunding companies, uh, they typically fail nine out of ten of them. Okay, so a lot of them just fail. So a lot of times when you see crowdfunded projects, they don't ship for months past the day they promise. Some of them a year past the day or even longer. So those are probably the companies that are, you know, the ones you might want to worry about a little bit more. So once you've crowdfunded or once you've started building a product chain like this, you've, you've got your infrastructure built, you shouldn't have to crowdfund again. So when you see a company going out crowdfunding again, that should raise flags. Now, some of those companies in the early days, now also these kind of startups in, in the electronics industry, from what I understand, three out of four fell. So, yeah, you got to be careful. Now, here we are, 2023, uh, Blue Yeti, EcoFlow, Goal Zero, that's a local company here in Utah who's been bought by a larger company. So, another success story. So, these are success stories. Jackery is a common one that a lot of people have heard of. So let's just go ahead and see why you should choose this one, okay? I, I just want to show you something on their website. All right, guys. So I went to their webpage. This is what it looks like. Nice, very nice webpage. I mean, very professional. 
looks great. I mean, for a company that's so young, it's pretty amazing. There we go, 2,000 watt hours. So this one is the larger one. There's actually two, physically the same size, I believe. One has uh, different kind of lithium batteries. We're gonna talk about that. NMCs is what they are. And the one I have is LiFo. So the LiFo batteries. So let's come down here and take a look at that. You can recharge them super fast, which is really amazing. And you can see the outlets on the left. Uh, here, let's just kind of scroll through the website, take a quick look. They have an app, of course. Pretty much everybody has apps these days, right? Pretty much you have to have an app. And pictures of solar panels and all that kind of stuff. Just kind of showing you what their web page looks like because I was really impressed with it. Uh, here's some blogs down here. So, and then down here, contact us. So, phone numbers. Really cool, Pacific Standard Time. So that's really neat. Now, I think they're in, yeah, right here, New Jersey. But it's interesting that they give their hours for California time or Pacific Standard. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here's all their stuff here, okay? So about us, okay? So here's their story. Just gonna show you this real quick so you can just take a look at this. I just wanna show you that you know, just the information they're sharing. I just think it's really neat. So, um, and the contact us, of course. So there you go. You got a digital way to contact them right on their webpage or via email or phone. A U.S. company with a U.S. phone number. That's pretty cool for us people that live in the U.S. <laughs> and payment methods. This is pretty amazing. Obviously, PayPal, Visa, of course. But this is what's cool. They also go through Klarna, so you can also do a payment method. So I think that's really neat that they're set up that way. And, uh, you know, terms, conditions, all this kind of stuff. Become a dealer, become an affiliate. Now, I'm not really an affiliate, but I, I want to be an affiliate. I mean, now that I've seen the unit, I've reviewed it. I'm telling you right now, I'm impressed. So now look, under shopping, check this out. You can actually track your orders. You put in your order number right here, hit track and it'll go track your number. Here's your return and refunds. 30 day no hassle or hassle free money back. Okay, delivery and shipment. So, okay, sorry to bore you with all this stuff, but I just kind of wanted to show you that stuff. Just show you who these guys are, okay? So let's go back to their front page. Okay, so uh, I think that was really impressive. They co really compared themselves to the cream of the crop companies, those companies that survived, you know, those early days and that have flourished and doing really well. You see them come out with new, um, you know, series of units all the time where uh, Van Powers is really impressive because they're actually competing with some of those latest product lines. So that's really cool. And um, you notice that, Pretty much everybody's a plastic package. I think that's for safety reasons. Um, plastic's really durable, you know, really strong. Arguably, it costs more to have plastic molded than to have steel bent. So, um, anyway, yeah, you're you're seeing, you know, everything I see, like the the use of the the newer LiFo batteries. They've been around for a long time. But everybody's kind of converting to that. The NMCs were what people used in the early days, but pretty much all those companies, if you look, have changed to LiFo batteries. So even a little small EcoFlow I got had LiFos, where you'd think a smaller unit might have used NMC. You know, your phones, um, you know, airplanes, any kind of, you know, remote aircraft or things like that would still use NMCs, probably but even the, they are probably looking for other technologies. The NMC, the nickel, uh, manganese, cobalt, that cobalt is the, is the problem child. You know, that's where the fires start. The life poles, the lithium iron phosphates are safe and you get lots more cycles. Like some people say four to five times more cycles, but you get at least twice the cycles. And you know, so rated uh, the depth of discharge, the self leakage, Pretty much every parameter is better with the lithium iron phosphate. The only parameter that the NMCs have better is their energy density. You get 
a little bit more energy just like you see in this this guy's just about 1500 watt hours where the nmc's 2000 watt hours so it's a little bit more than 40 well, right around 40 percent more energy density i would say but anyways that's I, i'd rather have the safety those batteries when they light up on fire they're difficult to put out and so you know a lot of times like you see a tesla or whatever it burns down to the ground because you pretty much just have to get out of the way and let it do its thing once it's run out of fuel it puts itself out so even tesla ford motors all those guys uh and they have been going to lithium iron phosphate i think tesla and some of their smaller cars still make the nmc's but i wouldn't want to be in a car with nmc's if there's a fire <laughs> if they if they overheat it or there's a problem um so lithium iron phosphate you know is the safer way to go so anyway so yeah i think it was really cool that they compared themselves to to those best of you know the cream of the crop companies so um yeah these guys really seem like they're serious and they're they're doing a great job so all right so let's go on and i want to show you what happened after that snowstorm i had a windstorm i mean the snow melted like within a couple of days it was there's still a lot of snow in the backyard of mine but there in the certain corners where the sun hits a lot that melted and made the ground softer and then we hit a windstorm so let me show you there what happened uh, the home page okay what i want to do is i want to come up here this time go to products here's the two main products the uh the unit i have on is on the left the one with the life pole batteries uh, but let's just come down here and select this guy and let's just look at some of the specs now look again you can buy it through Klarna uh, I think that's really neat that they've set up to invest and a thousand well eleven hundred dollars essentially it's like 76 cents per watt hour so pretty amazing and I like how you can change all the colors I like how the lights at the bottom so it's not right in your face and you can find the unit kind of helps you you look at it so you know if you're camping or outside even if you're tailgating at nighttime it's kind of nice to have that little glow down there here's some of the specs okay now oh here you know what one picture might be nice to show is this one just to kind of remind you what actually comes with this guy okay so there's the unit there's all the things that come with it and again these xt60 connectors are super nice connectors and it's really cool they come with those Okay, now here's the thing, why choose us? Look at this, they're putting themselves against the cream of the crop, you know, and you know, you can argue there's some other companies out there that are doing really well, but most of them are, are kind of like Vanpower that are that have come up in the last year that are just come out of nowhere. Uh, but these companies are comparing themselves to are the ones that have been in the game for probably a good five years or so. They were kind of some of the guys who started these uh, this technology. And so they, they've had a couple iterations and been able to improve their products. Somebody like Manpower is able to see what they did. You, you'll notice that the displays are all very similar. They're all plastic. It's kind of a way to go for portable units that have AC power, I think. And the only two with built-in wheels is the Anchor and the Manpowers. You can add carts of course to any other but you're just adding weight and you got to have straps and so on so i just like the idea they build them in so i, I like the sinker one too now also uh, when these other guys started off they were all nmc chemistries you know the life pool type batteries have been out for a while and people are starting to say okay we're going to give up a little bit of power for the safety so i like that i, I think that's the way to go that's why I want my house. I don't want an NMC battery bank that's this big sitting in the house. So anyway, here's the competition, and you can see how pretty much all of them are. Well, Jackery doesn't have the life pole in this one, but uh, pretty much all the rest of them have the life pole. Even EcoFlow has life pole now. They they've just you know with the Jackery and EcoFlow, they've just chosen these NMCs to compare. I guess because of the maybe the cost and so on because they do charge more for their life pool versions so anyway as far as power there i think they're trying to 
compare 2,000 white units, and you are capable of going 6,000 cycles versus 3,000 cycles. And you can see the cycles that these guys talk about here. Uh, so anyway, um, the charging time is one of the big differences with van power because you can charge that 1800 watts, you can charge very fast, but you can see how it compares with the watts, the 100 watts for the uh, two USB ports. I mean, the rest of them, like over here, we got two of them that match that. And this guy over here matches. They're really doing well in the comparison. So here's some of the big numbers that you want to maybe look at. Okay. So, uh, yeah, pretty impressive, I think. Super fast charging time. So it's all built in. There's no brick on the outside to connect to it. And look, they're showing all these different panels that you can put in series so you can charge that 1800 watts into that port because you put them all in series as long as you don't go over that 160 volts, which is pretty high voltage. Uh, you know, you can put a bunch of panels and get quite a bit of power. And you can see each one of these panels, how nicely they're designed. I like the uh, AC panels on the side and the inputs on the side so that when you, you don't have all the cords coming across the front of your unit which some people like that but i i like them on the sides and having the front uh cleaner and easier to see and to see what's going on and if you're going to mount this in a place where you want to put the cords out of the way so you're not tripping over them it's kind of nice to have them on the sides so there you go nice wheels and i just want to show you the a close-up of this display okay um I, I really do like the look i think that's why so many manufacturers have gone to this power ring it's just such an easy thing to look at and to kind of see the charging percentage and you just have the main numbers in large fonts so it's really easy to see so they have the the output watts here, the input watts up here, just really simple. That's what you want to see. You want to see how much, you know, power you have and then how much time you have left. And, you know, power factor, okay. That one, maybe a lot of people don't care about that, but it does show you the power factor, okay? So you have the amp up mode, which is really neat. You have the sleep mode, which is really nice in case you want to go to bed you don't want to hear the fans kick on you can just say hey you know use a sleep mode and and then it keeps on 300 watts where the fans don't have to kick on so it can charge slowly during the night instead of hurrying and charging quickly when you're trying to go to sleep and then eventually turning off when you know you've been sitting there hearing the fans kick on and so yeah, just slowly charging during the night. It's better for the battery too. You're sleeping. You don't need to charge it quick. So I really like the sleep mode. I think that's smart. And in case you're wondering if the fans are actually moving, it has a light for that. So an indicator. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, so you can look at all these buttons and all the indications you have. One of the things you'll want to see is make sure your Wi-Fi is on. If you're not connecting and you don't see the Wi-Fi on, well, that's why. So you just hit the reset button, hold it down for a few seconds. It'll turn on the Wi-Fi. And then you also have your cell network over here. Pretty cool. I mean, it's just showing the, you, you know, that's turned on that, hey, if somebody steals your unit, you can pull up your app and find it and see where it is. I think it's kind of funny. They're, they're just giving examples of what power certain things might take, like a CPAP, you know, like how many watts it is and well and how many hours that it would actually run that machine so you know 28 36 hours so you'd have to sleep a long time at the cpap if this thing was fully charged so it's just kind of this thing's just kind of an interesting thing just giving you time non-technical people that's going to be great again six ways to charge and your app and your global positioning which is i think a really cool I've never heard of that before in one of these units, but it totally makes sense. And the way you can charge, right? You can use the AC adapter coming in here, or like in other cases where people have an adapter, which, okay, now here's the light bulb batteries. Look at those big, huge uh, 
battery banks. Pretty cool that they show you how they're assembled and and put in there. So there's big, looks like plastic housings that they go into. So yeah, safe and stable, long lasting. I really like this battery technology and I think all units should be going this way. Advanced battery management, so that's your BMS. Pretty neat stuff. You got overcharge protection, thermal protection, overcurrent, over voltage, over discharge, and short circuit protection. So you got a lot of things going on. And they're showing all these safety protection uh, companies, you know. So uh, FC is for your, uh, your Wi Fi. Yeah, they're showing the CE mark and stuff. So, hey guys, when natural disasters hit, like windstorms that take down two big trees, you might lose your power. Maybe it takes down the power pole. So when that happens, you might be happy you have van powers. Okay, so I got these really cool panels. We're gonna pull those out. And this really nice kit, I like that case with all the cords and love the XT60, awesome. All right guys, there's multiple ways to hook up your solar panels. They show you a diagram, how to hook them up in series. In this configuration, going through the XT60 connection, you get 600 watts max, 12 to 60 volts. But hold on a sec, you can also go through the AC input, which is really unique. You can go to 60 to 160 volts through the AC, so you get more panels. That's a really cool feature on this, 1800 watts. So really nice, uh, Van Powers USA. And there's our app over here. So really nice setup, beautiful screen. I'm gonna show you this stuff. Okay, what's in the box? Safety guidelines, specifications, and other ways to charge. And you can use the offline UPS and also is an amp up mode and there's a sleep mode. Uh, really neat features. There's your Van Powers warranty, 24 months. More information on the warranty along with the US phone number and an email. All right guys, so we get the solar connections, the MC4. These look like the real deal. And the XT60, which we love. That's a 14 gauge wire. We have a 16 gauge AC uh, charging cable. And we also have the car jack uh, with the XT60, which that's really nice that they add that too. That's also 16 gauge. And then we have our adapters for the old style USBs. So we go to USB-C, uh, two of those, and that nice case. All right, guys, we got a nice bag for Van Power solar panel. A zipper on the back to holds the uh, warranty card. Again, two year warranty. And this is a nice rubberized zipper and with the Velcro handle. And inside, we have the handles for the solar panel. So let's pull them out. I want to show you the inside of the bag. It looks like nice material. It's uh, rugged, but yeah, lightweight. And the zipper on the back has the two year warranty card. So that's pretty nice. So here's a nice guide talking about how to care for your panels. They're IP63 rated and yeah, just a nice touch. All right guys, here's the panel, Band Powers uh, 200 Pro. So it's a 200 watt, 36 volt. And it comes with these Velcroed uh, stands. So that's nice that, you know, they just collapse down. But it looks like there's only one setting, that. So fully extended. So we'll have to open up these panels. Take a look. Let me look at the other side. Here's another Velcro panel. Okay. I think there's a couple more in there once we fold it open. And here we go. Look at that, man. Some more. Oh, look. They give you all the different connectors there. Wow. So, geez. That is a pretty nice cable. So that pretty much does everything it looks like. All right, so what I believe this cable is for is you replace the solar input. You use this with your cable for your solar input and you can replace your input instead of solar panel, Anderson connector, or any one of these two barrel connectors. So instead of using uh, solar power, you can use any one of those DC inputs and come into this solar cable 
with your XT60 into your Vanpower's unit and charge. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is uh, this is a 14 gauge wire to the solar panel. We're going to use this to connect to that cable, and you have these instructions here. It kind of shows you where the sun, how to position your panels, and yeah, just a bunch of information. 41 volts open output, 36 volts normal, 6.4 amps. That's with the short circuit, but we're hoping for close to 5.5, but anyway, 200 watts, and there's your dimensions. All right, and then we have these little buttons here. Yep, and then look, those are stretchy bands, so that's nice. And there's our panels. Oh yeah. These are monocrystalline. You can tell how just solid, deep color they are. And they kind of have a little grid on them. So yeah, let's open these up, spread them out. Just to kind of show you how they work. They Velcro together, so it kind of holds them together. So just a nice touch, a lightweight way. And there's two more stands in here. So I'm gonna pull it open and fold it. All right guys, so it looks like we're in 163 watts. I've seen it go up to one, just over 170, kind of bounce around. I think if I tried to optimize the panel placement, I could probably get a little more wattage, but that looks pretty darn good, I think. So it's telling us that we need 3.3 hours to fully charge, and we have a 69%. Uh, I really like this big display. It is a lot easier to see in person, and the camera and the brights, you know, with the sun reflecting on it. But yeah, there we go. That's your van powers unit. And over here is the charging ports. So we got the AC, we got a breaker, and we have a ground. That is so important, guys. Whenever you're using AC power, that can be really important. Okay, I'm trying to get down here so you can see. I really like how these are labeled, 60 amps max, 20 amps max. Over here, we have our 120, or 100 to 120 volts AC. We have the, the ground, you know, the ground current. I just like how everything's labeled. And those wheels are really nice, how rugged they are and how they can climb more terrain. I also noticed a nice feature. I like the vents are towards the top, which are nice. Uh, get away from the ground and dirt, right? But it's kind of cool that maybe it was by accident, just dumb luck, but it's nice that this thing right here kind of opens this way to keep you know, uh, the dirt from here, you know, just kind of protect a little bit from the ground. So it's getting there from up here. But nice large fans. I don't hear anything right now. There's no fans as far as I can tell. Now coming back to the front of the unit again, just watching it charge. It dropped down a little bit, a little bit of clouds up there, but the, uh, Everything's marked. I just want to talk about the labeling 100 watts 100 watts 20 watts for the combined obviously because it Shows a circle around them 136 watts here. So Yeah, just like that All right guys it's about 153 watts charging. It's been bouncing around up to 170s uh, There's just some really thin clouds, but so we're getting a lot of Sun, but uh, it's showing 3.5 hours charging 70 percent at this point so pretty nice and uh yeah i think i like this unit all right guys there's my shadow you can see the direction of the sun so i don't have the panels squared off and we're still getting you know 150 to 170 watts depending on the the shade up there all right i repositioned the panels to get a nice more even light because i had a tree giving me shade over there which you can kind of see so let's go look at the power now all right guys so now it seems to be charging about 176 it's been holding pretty solid right around there i saw it go up a little higher uh but yeah it's holding in at 176 so yeah moving the panels helped quite a bit all right, guys, this looks a little like a piece of luggage with this really nice telescoping handle. It's really strong, too. But my wife uses this to weigh her luggage because it's always near the max of 70 pounds. But let's see what, let's see what this thing weighs. And uh, 50 pounds is for more, most of us at the airport. But this is 41, 42 pounds. Yeah, it's kind of bounced around, but you can see around 42 pounds. 
So that's what you get with the Van Power Super Power Pro 1500. All right, let me show you the label here in case you want to see that. All right, so the label is nicely marked. I like it. Input maximum 1800 watts, uh, just below the 2000 watts maximum output. So, yeah, again, just under the 1C charge rate. So, yeah, and all the other specifications. So, it's nice that each outlet has its own ratings, but again, they're all captured right here. Really nice touch. And then, again, the telescoping handles, you can see how they lock in at each st spot as you pull it up. So, yeah, it's just a nice handle. Really like that. Yeah. I okay, so sometimes I've seen this jump up in the 180s. Uh, it's kind of variable, but it's been hovering right in the high 170s. And I just want to show you this, too. It's pretty cool that that blue light I have on. I guess maybe I should turn that off while it's charging. <laughs> Anyway, I just think it's kind of cool that you can change the lights and the intensity. All right, guys, we're out here charging. I've got the bag just laid over the back of the unit just to shield it from the direct sun. I could have put it behind panels, I guess, but that's one another use you can use the bag for. And then I've got this vacuum here, and it's a powerful one. And I think, let's see, let's look at the label here. It is... 11 amps, it draws a lot of power. So uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, you can see we're charging about 154. I'm gonna turn it on. And there we go. It's about almost a thousand watts. And the actual power going to the charge is right around a hundred watts. So, Let's come climb it back up. There we go. That's looking pretty good. So one of the cool things is even though this unit is only about as heavy as what you think on a plane, if you could, which you can't, um, yeah, this handle, really durable. The wheel's awesome. So it makes it really easy to move around. Really like that. All right, guys, so here's the app. And there's the machine. Click on that. And there we go. Pretty nice and easy. You have your input connections right here. And let's see, output right here. No power right now. And then we have modes of operation. We have a sleep mode that you can put this in to uh, limit the power charging to 300 watts and it makes it cooler. So you just turn that on and you get a little beep from the machine or amp up if you wanna you know, use a lot of current, a lot of power just to charge up. The voltage may drop, but it should be okay. Uh, some devices won't care. Other devices will have regulation that will adjust for that. And ambient light. It's really cool. You can choose different colors. And you can choose brightness level. Turn it on and off. And uh, there's a battery. You can you can change that arrow right there. You can just slide, grab it and slide it. I was trying to see how to do it. You just grab it and slide it. And so that can change how much you charge to if you wanna if you don't want to charge 100 percent or whatever. Whoops, hit the wrong arrow. Sometimes I go to the top left of the screen and hit that arrow. <laughs> and then you have your location, which I guess I'll leave that off for right. I mean, I won't show you where I am right now. <laughs> and then your system. And that's pretty cool. Set Fahrenheit. Uh, display timeout, power timeout. So right now we have 4.7 hours left to charge. I'm gonna move the panels because they're not facing the sun right now. There we go. Now they're facing the sun better. So 149 watts. Still, there's a, a little bit of clouds. Just a little bit of that real thin cloud in the sky. So yesterday I was seeing this up around 170 consistently. So you can turn on your AC power right here. Uh, you turn it off. DC power turn on off 
and pretty cool you know i'll get a load powered up and so you can watch it do that all right guys yeah i'm always impressed with companies send me something because i you know i've only had one or two companies that ask me to say hey can you use this title can you do this i don't know uh, can i review your video no nope. and then they all fold and basically say hey go ahead we trust you we like your videos so but i'm impressed with these people because they have sent so many units out in the field to be tested and that shows that they are comfortable confident with their product and where other companies i've noticed where they used to do that they got bit so now they're kind of controlling their own stories and you know they're doing their own videos so uh, i really trust a company that that tr you know that's not afraid of of feedback so yeah i want to show you something on the website okay okay guys so here's van power's home page and this you know they've got some uh things that commercials like high production value type commercials of this thing which is pretty nice that they spent the money to do that kind of uh, commercials and here's their products tab the power pro tab you click on that support center tab i've kind of shown you some of that and explore more so articles guides news and youtubes so what i want to show you is i was really impressed when i went you know before i accepted this unit i went on youtube just to make sure this was going to be a good unit that i wasn't going to have to um you know i don't want to bash a product that's not good so i want to make sure i'm receiving good products and after watching some reviews i'm like yes please send me one <laughs> and then i found their web page and i saw that they actually show all the reviews on here i mean these are a lot of, a lot of these are reviews i've watched there might be a couple in here that I missed. Uh, I, I really did a lot of research and looked at reviews of other products as well, just to see how these stack up. But you can kind of see these are all different types of channels. A lot of them are van life type channels, but, and look, see this guy right here? He ranked it this number one. Now, that was kind of a common theme a lot of these people said hey this is the best uh, power station i reviewed and best one i've worked with so that really made me and look this guy found the same thing i did 76 cents per watt so uh yeah it's really impressive product and i i'm impressed that they were that they just freely sent them out and just you know have enough confidence in their unit that they know that they're going to get good reviews so they i think it's worked for them i mean for me it did it impressed me seeing all these different people from different backgrounds and different uses that all had the same similar stories to tell the and some of them are using power tools things that they've had difficulty with other stations so like this guy up here at the with the rotary saw um, i've used a vacuum on mine and that one uh takes some power to run a thousand watts but it has a motor in it that has to kick up and i didn't hear any difference from that than plugging it into the wall so yeah i just wanted to show you this that i just think that's um that says something about the company hey guys so i think you'd have to be impressed right i was super impressed i'm super impressed with this product the build quality the ruggedness it just feels like super strong um i'm really happy with them glad it's got the kind of batteries it has in it the power levels seems to be great i can wheel this into the kitchen if i need to plug the fridge in uh power strip as well plug other things into it and one thing i didn't point out which i'm going to do another follow-up video showing you some applications and showing you some testing I've done um, that I will do as well. I'm going to do some more. But um, the way they position all those sockets, you know, you can put all those different adapters that you plug in at different angles so you can plug in a lot of things. So I think that was really smart. And the one that was right above the car jack, that's up on the side too. So it's not blocking that port. I, th I think they just thought through things and, you know, where it made sense to 
you know, emulate the competition they did, where they moved and changed things, like adding this handle and, and the suitcase kind of, you know, the big wheels, the chunky wheels on it, uh, putting the, the ports, input ports on this side, output ports here, DC ports in front. It just gives a clean appearance when you plug a bunch of stuff. You don't have all these cords coming out the front. You're going to wrap around the back to the side anyway, probably, right? So I just think they, they're really smart. Two thumbs up to Van Powers. Really enjoying the unit. I'm going to do a follow-up in a month or so when I've had more time to use this thing, okay? And I'll do some testing and so on. But so far... It's tested out great, and my solar panels charged it up today, full 100% charge. So that was cool. Um, yeah, fun. It's good to have one of these around. It makes you feel a little safer that you know power goes down. Uh, we've had power go down in the neighborhood several times. Different snowstorms, the windstorm. Um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a crazy last few months. So there you go, guys. Um, let me so give a thumbs up the video if you liked it that really helps youtube analytics and uh give your comments down below let me know what you guys think give me stories that you have about emergency cases or what cases one thought i had with this is run my audio amplifiers off of it i want to do a test doing that because this power is cleaner than what's going to come off your your grid the noise that's on your grid so I've had people say, hey, why don't you do uh, run your amplifiers off a bunch of batteries? I'm like, well, actually, I have a battery right here. <laughs> so that's a good idea. And this case is really cool. A nice soft case. I mean, I'm gl glad they did this so I can keep stuff in one spot. That's that's nice. Um, I guess, you know what? I actually probably would have liked it to be just a little bit larger because some of those other cables, well, I guess, uh, I mean, there's still room in this. And I guess I'm just being picky, but... Uh, there's a big pocket. There's two pockets um, on the solar panels. One on the case and one on the panels themselves. And that's where I keep one of those cords. So I guess that's where it belongs is to be over there. But anyway, I think it's really cool that they they did something like that. I wish more companies did that. Oh, you know what? Here, let me see if you can see the lights. Hey, and by the way, uh, one, one tip on the app. Uh, I turned off my solar cellular data when I first uh, signed up but you know what I've been uh, let me see if it's still working because I haven't yep it's still working wow okay but you know what once I download the app and updated the firmware and all that uh, I it doesn't seem like it's caused any issues now here I, I was gonna turn change the lights down here for you I think that's so cool I like the idea at first I thought that's interesting they put it on the bottom but it makes so much sense because it's not shining in your face. You can see your controls and you can find your unit. You can turn them off if you want. You can turn off that light. And then if you want to find your unit, let's say your campground or, or even if you're tailgating and you put it around the side of the truck or something, you just want to find it to help yourself unplug or plug things in, you can just turn that on and you can dim it. And so that's pretty cool, right? And change colors. So I... I think that was a cool idea to put it down here. If you need another flashlight, I guess you can just plug in a little DC unit and sit on top of it or something like that. But I think that was pretty smart. Uh, actually, when I was carrying it from the yard through the house down here in my lab, I was using that light to guide myself through the, the dark room. <laughs> so it came in really handy as I'm carrying it just to see the ground in front of me. I didn't really think about that. It just, just happened. So, yeah, wanted to show you that too. Pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the display from there, but maybe I zoomed in. I don't know. But I love this display. I mean, it's huge. Huge display. Over here's the buttons. Over here's the buttons. But the display goes from right about there and right about there. So, huge display. Thanks, Van Powers. Hey, uh... Thanks to my patrons as always. You guys are awesome and really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's been, yeah, I'm afraid of what it's gonna cost me for all those tree removals. The insurance, I don't know, we'll see. 500 bucks a tree or something like that, that's ridiculous. It's, those trees were, 
massive. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of afraid of what's going to happen out of that thing. So, but at least if I needed power and if I might get an electric chainsaw so I can go out there and cut up the stump, that'd be cool. <laughs> Give me your ideas, what you'd like to see, okay? Hey, thanks for watching. See you next time.